Hey there, speculators. Welcome back to the trade. Welcome back to the channel. It's Rod with TDG and Futures on Fire. We make education and strategies for active futures traders and self-directed investors. Hey, I promised uh, Friday, it's not too bad, it's Sunday here, so you're probably out enjoying your weekend, that I would uh, record, uh, record a video where I talk about a trading strategy uh, that I'm using to go through uh, one of the top step trader uh, programs. They call those combines over there. If you're not, uh, if you haven't watched the video prior to this, I'll put a link in the description or right here somewhere on this particular video because it's great to watch that for context. Essentially, what we're, what I was talking about in the previous video is how you can pass these combines, these uh, evaluations to get access to capital on your first try by actually not trying until you're ready. So the, f the most important concept here before I jump into uh, taking a look at this trading strategy uh, and I'll put the uh, links to uh, all the rules and the setups of the charts that we're using uh, below because it's probably a little more than uh, we want to go into right here that you're going to want to watch. Uh, I said I could teach it in five minutes. It's probably clearly going to take a little bit more time uh, than that. So again, check that other video, but just to re, uh, re go through it really quickly, um, what we're going to do first before we actually participate in the combine is we're going to go over here and uh, create uh, an account at, uh, at Trade of Eight. We're going to open an account at Trade of Eight. And what I'm going to do right now is just log into my access, my live environment right here and you're gonna see how much massive money is in this account. There you go, 500, and, uh, 500 bucks, $503. Okay, again, in the previous video I mentioned, uh, approach you might consider is to first open and fund an account with a minimum at trade of eight for $250. And then you are going to not trade that account at all. It's just gonna be used to get you access to a demo and get you access to data. Okay, the demo data is going to, well, it's live data. It's gonna cost you about nine to twelve dollars a month that's all it's going to cost you. let me go ahead and log out here and show you um, I'm gonna log in to the actual demo environment let me come over here da, 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 da. used to be able to actually toggle between those two but you can't you can't anymore unfortunately I don't know why uh, so I'll go over to my simulation environment okay so here's my simulation environment it has a balance of sixty two thousand two ninety eight all right and what I did was I actually tested the range trader that I'll be talking about in just a moment for almost four and a half months intermittently. I'm trading a lot of other things, doing a lot of other things, but I wanted to be sure that before I went back and um, uh, went back to the top step program uh, that I uh, tested this strategy pretty extensively using micros and actually was able to grow the account, as you can see here, to 62,298. It was actually even higher than that. Uh, and I started it with $50,000. So again, this is the demo account that I own and only pay essentially $12 a month for. So it allows me to practice for as long as I can. So the key takeaway here is first, we want to set up an environment where we can practice rather than going over to one of these programs and practicing with our own money. Uh, yes, they have trials over at Top Step Trader and some of the other programs, but um, there's ways in which you can set up a very low cost environment for you to practice on your own, all right? So that's the basic gist there is the first thing we want to do is get a trade of eight account open because trade of eight the back end platform that you see here is actually what um, one of the available platforms from top step trader they call it tst trader it's been very very popular all right i am probably what four minutes in here i haven't even shown you a strategy at all but i just wanted to provide some context there and then lastly before we get going just to show you that uh, this is maybe worthwhile for you to take a look at this is very early days, okay? I emphasize taking your time on this. This is the um, first step of the uh, combine that I'm involved in right now using, again, the exact strategy that I'll be talking about today. You have five days to complete this. I'm on day 12, which is absolutely fine. Now, I'm not concerned whether it takes me 15 days or 30 days or five days to pass um, the first step. The second step is actually 10 days. What I'm more concerned with is exactly what's going on with these stats here. This is what I'm looking for. The win rate is very consistent. You'll see essentially um, uh, that I'm trading about the same amount of contracts more recently. I was very lighter, a little lighter when we started up. But uh, I look at things like what is my net PL relative to my PL high for the day? What's the PL low? You can see I've never had uh, open drawdown that exceeded uh, $300 here. And really it's just slow and steady wins the race. So almost each day is profitable. If we have losing days, they're very, very small. Um, 
to be honest with you, these two days were days I was barely even trading uh, that much or following um, following that part of uh, the market. So um, anyway, this is the process so far. Step one, uh, we're about halfway to the profit goal. And um, this is not cocky, it's just pure confidence. I have been trading a long, long time. So I come to this with, uh, with more ex uh, potential, more experience than many of the folks that will be watching this video are considering going through this process with me. Um, but there is no way I won't pass and there is no way I won't blow up. Why? Because I have complete confidence in the strategy I'm about to show you. I've been trading it pretty actively for the last seven years. Um, and I practiced it for almost four months on my own demo account before I even came over here and, and spent some money. This program now is costing me $160 a month. And as I mentioned, I probably won't get through it in the very first month. So I'll have to pay another $160, but no reset fees or anything like that. And then when the account is funded, uh, I will have the exact same process that I had that got me through it. Okay, I'm actually not a fan of the fact that the, um, the minimum amount of time is as little, little as 15 business days or 15 trading days. I think that sets a lot of people up for unrealistic expectations. Um, I don't know what the right amount is, but it would be great if these programs maybe had something more like a quarterly charge and you had like 90 days to, uh, to get through the program much, much more slow and steady. I think more people would uh, have success with them, more people would stay funded. But anyhow, this is the way the program works right now. All right, let me shut up and actually get through this uh, strategy for you. So the strategy actually uses a um, uh, two different time frames, a five minute and a 30 minute, okay? And there are a few indicators applied to each. Uh, I won't go through all of the settings and what those indicators are because what I'd like to do is rather just come over here to the actual um, rules that I'll put right down below. This will be a link to a Google Doc that you can take a look at. This is actually called the Range Trader. We also inter, uh, interchange that with the edges and it's an intraday swing strategy. So when we talk about intraday, obviously futures trade 23 hours a day and in these programs you are allowed um, to trade almost all of the time that the markets are open. There was a time in the recent past where things got really, really volatile and Top Step actually for funded accounts began to narrow the trading window, but I believe um, it has been uh, taken back out to 23 hours a day. But we're gonna primarily trade the intraday swing trading strategy during the cash session, which is the same as the time that the stock market's open. But um, I often will come in and trade in the evening a little bit because as long as the criteria for the strategy have been met, on days in which there is a lot of volatility during the cash session, you'll also tend to see a decent amount of volatility that you can take advantage of in the extended hours trading session. And at the time I'm making this video right now, we probably have a pretty wild week on tap, uh, given the fact that there's going to be a US election, presidential election this week, all right? Um, I almost feel like I wanna read this all out, so I am gonna kind of read it out here, but again, you can check the description uh, down below. Uh, and while you're down in that description, if you're heading a little south with your mouse, south with your mouth, ooh, <laughs> came out wrong. South with your mouse, south with your mouse. Hit that subscribe, like this video if you're digging this kind of content. It really does help out the channel and turn on the little bell notification so you're notified uh, when I do uh, broadcast because um, anyway, I threaten all the time that I'm going to be broadcasting more often so we can look to grow this channel. Uh, I've been seeing some really good content out there from other contributors on YouTube that are really starting to um, uh, talk more about futures um, in, in a way that's aligned with why I think they're the best uh, instrument for active day trading. Things like no pattern day trader requirement, uh, trade 23 hours a day, they're tax advantaged, and probably most important to this video here, there's no um, registration required to get access to capital if you want to try your hands at um, being a prop trader. Uh, prop trading for stocks and options, much more limited in terms of the amount of uh, companies that provide those services. There are some great ones, some that I'm affiliated with. Um, but when you are ready, you, you generally have to pass um, a securities uh, exam of some kind. Um, and I don't know about you, but I don't like taking tests anymore. So anyway, the range trader is a mean reversion strategy that looks to enter trades at developing value areas using a volume profile indicators that is available in TradingView. It's geared towards campaigning, that means scaling in and out, around the edges of a daily range, okay? It can be applied to all different instruments, but for the, for the purposes of what we're doing here in, um, in the combine, I'm only trading um, the micro index futures, okay? So that's the MES, MYM, M2K, and the MNQ. 
and I'm normally only trading the MNQ and the MES, all right? Now there are some rules that allow you to trade a full contract uh, once you achieve a certain amount of profit. Uh, I did that a little bit uh, to get to juice up my account in a good way. Uh, that $50,000, I got it up to almost $65,000, $70,000 in that demo account while I was practicing, just to sort of see what the sweet spot was for when you could add a full contract. But you, you should look to initially get through your first step I would suggest using only micros. It just lends itself a little bit better to this particular strategy, which again will campaign around certain areas. Here's the rules of engagement. Um, the distance between the developing value area high and low need to be 50% of the seven day ATR of the instrument traded. Whoa, that's a total mouthful, right? Let me just break that down really quickly. The value area high and low are plotted by the indicator that, we, that uh, is right over here on this particular chart. Okay, I have it now plotted with this red line and this green line right here, okay? This is gonna be a very oversimplification of this, and the best way to see a lot of examples of this would be to come in and, and check, check it out with me trading. We have options for 10 days for $10, you can be in our trade room. Um, we even have something that's basically 49 bucks for the entire uh, full month of TDG Total Access. If you wanna check that out, that's also in the description below. But the intent is not to try to sell you something here. It's just to give you the um, uh, pretty much common sense, which is the best way to learn anything. It was just to see a lot of examples of it. So I won't be able to give you a lot of examples of it here. But right now, this is in the past. It's a Sunday evening, um, and the market will open up in about a couple hours here. And these value area highs and lows will compress. Okay, so the first part is we need to have at least 50% of the seven day ATR, that's the average two range. So let me give you an example. If the Dow Jones seven day ATR is 500 points, then you need to see the value area highs and lows be at least 250 points from each other. Okay, that means this red line and this green line need to be 250 points from each other. Okay, until that occurs, uh, you can't trade the range traders. You need to have an actual range that you're working with. After that range has been established, it doesn't get much easier than sell red and buy green. That's basically the way this strategy works. If you want to trade the edges, okay? You can see right here is a perfect example of where this level did not hold. Now it happens to be a time of day in which um, the market was basically closing. It was the very last trades on a Friday afternoon and it just rocketed right up, okay? More often than not, we will stay within these ranges and we're going to trade these two edges. So that in of itself is the entire strategy. If you come back here, what you're basically seeing is this line is when it jumps down, that just means the market has closed and those value area highs and lows are going to be reestablished once the market reopens again. But it's a mean reversion strategy, which simply means we're looking for to sell highs and buy lows and we're looking to trade the edges. Let me go back to the um, a couple more notes here, which is that the targets for entries are the 21 period EMA and or the point of control and the initial stop loss is uh, about 30 bips or one third of one percent of your account size per trade and i have a whole prop risk management that you can look at here i call it prop risk management for what we're doing here which is going through these prop programs um, and you can reference that once you get access to this doc in the description below after you hit the subscribe smash the like button turn on the bell notifications leave a comment too that'd be awesome so here's the range trader uh, chart layouts, okay? So we're gonna go through how you lay out your chart. Uh, without getting into too much detail here, this is a 30 minute and here's a five minute over here. Many people might rather have, would rather probably have their trading time frame, uh, which is the lower time frame here on the left and then the higher time frame here. You can change the colors, you can change anything you'd like here. It's just a matter of preference. I have the five minute over here because often I'll overlay a, a different uh, application on the left hand side there. Um, the five minute chart indicators that are applied are just session volume HD and a 21 period EMA. That's it. Okay, we go through all the settings right here so you can look at what the settings are. On the 30 minute, we're applying a session volume HD and we're applying a 233 EMA RRT line. Okay, if you look back on the channel here, most people are not going to just, you know, randomly go through all these videos, but we talk about all the time our trend filter is a 230 period, 233 period EMA or exponential moving average. If you get nothing else from this or don't even want to follow along with this strategy, you might drop a 233 EMA on whatever trading time frame you like. Um, I tend to look at it on higher time frames, things like 15, 30, 60 minutes, to just identify trend. So there's no filters of any kind applied to this. I, write, I made a, m a mention here that, um, that there are, 
I think I wrote in here, I think so. Yes, entry filters and other considerations may be applied once a trader uh, gets familiar with the criteria for the initial entries. So it's just like everything else in life, right? You gotta get the foundation uh, right first, just get the mechanics down. And then there are other considerations that we can we can overlay. I just didn't wanna overly complicate it. It's really as um, as simple an approach as buying, uh, buying green and selling red. Simply means shorting red and buying green. But again, there are some considerations we can apply a filter and some people might choose to not want to um, uh, be doing certain things when price is dramatically away from a trend filter. In other words, you know, really, really trending hard in one direction uh, is some, in some instances is not the best time to be looking for uh, for ranges. Then the final component that is in that sheet that I won't go through right now is beginning to understand the way these profiles look visually. And the absolute best look is one called the Indian Arrow, which is actually, you can kind of think of it as I call it the Indian arrow. It really just looks like a triangle um, uh, sitting at a 90 degree angle, but the uh, it's it's jagged very often. So you can think of it as a chiseled piece of, uh, of rock, an Indian arrow. And the Indian arrow is the best profile um, pattern that you can have if you're looking to uh, do these uh, this range trader. The final component that I'll mention about the range trader that lends itself very uh, nicely, I think, to this exercise of slowly and steadily going through these programs only after you have first done it in your own demo account for several months is that it really slows things down. It, it has built in patience. If you really follow the rules, there's not a lot of time in which price is actually at the edges, right? It's going to spend more time inside the range. So if it's going to spend more time inside the range as people get chopped up or stopped out or try to catch momentum or whatever the case may be, you are essentially, by definition, generally entering the market at either the bottom 20 to 30 percent of the range each day long, or the top of the 20 to 30 percent of the range each day short. All right, and that's great. I mean, not always going to be right. Markets will break out of even those ranges. Um, but when you stay in those, when you wait for entry of those ranges, you have a much higher probability of trading less often. Okay, and um, and having a higher win rate, or at least a win rate that's tolerable for, for people when they're just uh, beginning to learn a strategy, okay? Um, this win, the win rate on this strategy is about 71%. I haven't quite been averaging that in the, um, I even had a higher win rate when I was doing my own demo. I come in here, let's, let's see, 60, 60, 70, 60, yeah. I do not have a super win rate in here so far on this, um, uh, uh, but stats are stats, right? Uh, this is a small, small data set. But overall, I've my live trading for 20 plus years has been in the 68 to 74 uh, percent win rate. And um, uh, you know, you'll hear about win rates that are a lot higher. I, I call BS on a lot of that. But anyhow, um, <clears throat> you can have a huge, high, super high win rate. But if you're, uh, if you're um, average win relative to your average loss is not in in, uh, in line, then you're going to be screwed. By the way, again, you can see biggest winning day here, or average winning day 250, average losing day 95, best day four is uh, twice what the worst day is. And again, there's been almost 12 days on this first step. So we've got a little data we're working with. All this being said, please don't even start these programs until you at least consider the approach that I will be teaching and training and talking about in the TDG Total Access program and in our prop prep programs, which are just planning on a 60 to 90 day preparation period where you get ready for these programs so that when you actually put down your money um, and have a, uh, a monitored evaluation, you are ready to go. All right, we will leave it there for tonight. Again, check the links below for uh, this document as well as this document here. Let me see, is that even open up? This is that document here, which is going to give you um, some of your risk sizing in terms of uh, how how many contracts you can trade. Uh, we're generally going to start with just a single contract as we campaign around a particular area. Okay, we'll see you at the next video. Like, subscribe, turn on the bell to notifications and comment. It'd be great to have you as a subscriber here at Futures on Fire. My name is Rod with the Traders Dev Group, reminding you to always stay green, trade like you mean it. Thanks.